Well, good morning and welcome again to River Valley Farm. Um, this is Monday, July something, 19th. And last night I mowed the alfalfa field down here and the neighbor's little field over there. Just finished washing the old 990 off. Um, the 66 and Super 66 are no more. Um, there they are. What's left of them? Um, this is the 66. That's the Super. I gotta get that back up on there and chain this all down and haul it off today. <clears throat> Should fetch $170 a ton unless the price changed over the weekend which who knows it may have so anyway I didn't video mowing hay because well I didn't video mowing hay because I didn't have my cameras but anyway when I was cutting the mow oh, whatever three month overripe two month overripe grass hay down there my reel belt was slipping so, um, while I have more adjustment here, which I think that I have a new belt also. But anyway, since there is adjustment, I'll probably just adjust it. I did not know uh, if I had any adjustment left or not, and I already had a belt. So anyway, I'm going to change this belt, put this thing away. Probably gonna haul that stuff and then come back here and Ted Hay and then we gotta go round up a few things for another day's project. I'm gonna strip some oil on this too before I put it up so that we can uh, make sure it's not gonna have terrible issues with rusting. Okay, so anyway, here's our bolt that we need to adjust right there. Just a half inch bolt, nothing special at all. And we give her a little bit here. Yeah, the ratchet work. And that's a whole lot tighter already. We're gonna go a little bit more because, well, it'll work better that way, right? So anyway, yeah, I get no more wiggle out of it, so that's good. Uh, maybe even borderline too tight, but not down here on this expanse, so that's good enough. Um, yeah, like I said, I was cutting that, which, um, yeah. So I was cutting first cutting on grass that was it's two months overdue and uh, so most of the second cutting was already there or a lot of second cutting was already there so uh, you know it wasn't plugging up the rolls but it was stopping my reel from turning uh, didn't matter how fast I was going it just would not do it so anyway now we got that sorted out um, I'm going to put that away, get the boom pole back on, put that piece on there, chain that shit down, haul it off. Um, yeah. And then, maybe when we come back, which it's, what time is it now? 9.25, time we get up there and get that done if they're being speedy today. Uh, get back. We should still have enough moisture to be able to ted the hay out or ted the alfalfa out anyway and then uh, da -da -da -da. the silver ford that is going to be the project for my vacation this week more or less um, along with hay and whatever else I come up with that needs to be done but we're going to see if we can resurrect this thing um, well, you know, put it, put it back together and see if we can even figure out what was wrong with it. Um, it was having a no hot, no start when hot issue. So yeah, we got that to deal with. 
and probably along the way i'm gonna see if i get this thing running so i can have air up here to air up the tires with because i don't think i should be driving my work truck while i'm on vacation right so anyway fun stuff to do right okie dokie then loaded chained and ready to go to walton kentucky get unloaded <laughs> well okay so where were we before i uh, forgot i was recording today um i think i had just left to go to the scrap yard and uh did pretty good on that mixed iron uh maybe you'll sit here on this piece of wood mixed iron 6400 pounds roughly let's see Oh, 6,280 pounds, excuse me, uh, $175 a ton. So, you know, it wasn't free money, but I'm out the aggravation of having that old baler that doesn't work anymore. So, um, whatever your name was that wanted the wad board, I do still have it. Um, we can ship it to you, whatever you want to do there. But anyway, get a hold of me. We'll find out what to do. Next on the list is this thing. Um, I honestly can't say how long this thing has been here. How long since it ran last. Nothing. It's uh, at least at least 20 years old to begin with and as i keep saying i have no clue how long it's been since it ran last so i got some gasoline picked up some gasoline and uh whatnot but i'm going to take a wild guess and say we're going to have to have well it does turn over and sounds like it got compression so those are good signs but i'm going to take a wild guess and say that we're probably going to need oh if i can get the cap off a dumb thing it's probably going to have to have the carburetor rebuilt and by smelling that gas i'm gonna have to pour it out and start over what is that shit? Hmm. Anyway. I don't even know what that is in there. I'm going to have to get a flashlight so I can see. Anyway, there is some old... You guys can't even see down in there, but there is some old nasty gas down in there yet. Um, yeah. So we're going to have to fix that. <clears throat> Pull the tank, drain it. Clean the carburetor, all that good stuff. And then we'll see if it'll run or not before we worry about busted gauges and whatever other might be wrong with this thing. So, but yeah, this will be a welcome addition to the back of the old Ford out there when we get it done. So, uh, yeah, let me get started. Look at all this fun stuff. Wasps nests and spider nests and yeah, all kinds of cool stuff. And not to mention whatever that stuff is down in there. All right, so recap of the day's events. Um, anyway, whatever size these bolts are, I do not know, but I don't have a socket that will fit them. And they have a Torx bit in the center, so I guess that's what you're supposed to do. Although I don't know how you're supposed to get to this one over here. But anyway, we'll cross that bridge tomorrow. Um, so, let's see, what did we do today? <laughs> it's been a long day. Uh, washed, washed the hay bind, uh, oiled it up. 
greased it, what have you. Adjusted the reel belt up a little bit. Um, we loaded the last piece of the puzzle on the trailer and hauled off the scrap. Excellent an idea. It needed to be done really bad, so we got that done. Um, just kind of sorry I missed the window where it was $250 a ton, but hay $175 will do. We tetted the hay. Um, got that done. Um, the little grass field down there is just so rough. There's no hope for it. Whatever kind of tether you have, it's going to hit the ground. It's going to drag, so on and so forth. Um, over my alfalfa field down here in the bottom, it went just smooth as smooth could be. Um, probably going to be ready to bail on the alfalfa tomorrow. And I'd say it'll be another day on the other part. So, um, we need to take finish getting that off get the carburetor clean get the gas tank cleaned out i'm not going to go into great detail on this basically i just want the thing to run so i can use it to blow off parts and blow off stuff on that truck and then hopefully tomorrow afternoon or wednesday wednesday i'll be working on that truck hopefully wednesday thursday something like that anyway um i guess that's pretty much it for now i'm gonna go home and see what's going on over there and reload my tools and just empty my chains out of my toolbox and load tools in that i'm gonna need and so on and so forth um yeah good times we'll be had by all so anyway thanks for watching probably not really much of a video but it's something right i didn't film a whole lot but hey it'll work um then there's this field over here i guess we're gonna have to i need to spray that down there and then see what comes back for alfalfa because i'm pretty sure <coughs> like half of it this half of it is dead but anyway i have to spray it and see what comes back so yeah again Thanks for watching. I'll be back later.